Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. It's just a sports fan news. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on the Red Sox picking up Michael Waka for a one year deal for seven million bucks. The Red Sox added Michael Waka to the fold, who, of course, at one time being a former first round pick of the St. Louis Cardinals and a 2013 NLCS MVP, having a great Regular season in 2013 in his first year, he came up as a rookie, followed by two more very good seasons, making the all-star team with the Cardinals before he started to fall off a little bit, 509, then 413 as a starter, but reestablished to a 320 in 2018, and then had an off 2019 season before he moved on to the Mets and struggle bunny there, and then went on to the Tampa Bay Rays last year, where he, of course, pitched primarily out of the uh he had 29 games and 30 or 23 games started so he pitched primarily out of the rotation so that is what's going to be interesting to see for Waka at this point of his career is he a guy that you continue to keep running out there at the uh, rotation level or is he a guy that you move to the pen where at this point of his career being how it's gone and how it's down ticked as a starter, whether it was with the Mets in only a limited capacity in eight games in the shortened season, or with the Cardinals in his final season there, and then particularly with the Rays in 23 starts, it seems like this might be the time to move Michael Walker to the pen, but at the same time, of course, the Red Sox have guys like they brought up Nick Pavetta from the Phillies, and then they were able to mix him in and make him pitch a lot better than he did before and really get him going. So maybe they can kind of revert back and get Michael Waka going because he has some good inner numbers, just not the best surface numbers. I do remember, though, reading with the analytics committee how good he does in those capacities. Before his pitches, he has an average 94-mile-per-hour fastball, so I'm thinking maybe 96, 97 if you throw him in the pen and he's just firing it full cylinder all the time there. Maybe that adds a couple miles per hour like we've seen with other guys. 87-mile-per-hour changeup, 89-mile-per-hour cutter and a 76-mile-per-hour solid curveball. The one thing with Waka, though, as a starter, is his max exit velocity mm -hmm. rate is went, it going up. It went up to 118.6 last year, which is the highest since 2016. And also, his barrel percentage was at 10.5, which is the highest it's been since 25th, really in his entire career, that's the highest it's been. So those are numbers you don't want to see. But Waka's a guy that has nasty stuff, great stuff, just like the younger version, Nick Pavetta, who they brought in last year from the Philadelphia Phillies. Waka hasn't been as consistent as a starter, really. He last season he had that was good as a starter was eight and two. I mean only fifteen games in twenty eighteen. The last couple seasons have been a real struggle for him. That's why I feel like maybe moving him to the pen, getting it up to ninety seven miles per hour, having more effectiveness on his pitches because they don't start timing them the second, third time around, really just being able to fire it out there for one inning. I think that might be the best strategy here for Michael Walker, but we'll have to see what the Red Sox decide to do, what Cora and his staff decide to do. With Michael Waka, all I know is they spent seven million bucks on him. Maybe a little bit rich for a guy that was downturning a little bit the last couple years, but he's a guy that, with this pitching staff, they did a good job last year. The coaching staff at training them up and getting them to be the best they could be. I'm excited to see what guys like youngsters like Connor Seabold and others can do this year as we implement them, Tanner Hoke and others. But it's going to be interesting to see. The most interesting thing to follow is. Is Michael Walker going to make it in pr in spring training as a starter, or will they start trying to see what he can do out of the pen, which I think might be the best course and the best case for him at this point of his career, but we'll see what happens. This has been a reaction to the Red Sox adding Michael Walker for $7 million. Will they use him as a starter? Will they use him as a reliever? Let's wait and see. Peace out, everybody. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and keep making the moves, Red Sox. Let's start making maybe some bigger moves, too, or bringing back Schwarber for one. Peace out, everybody.